Hello everyone, we will continue with the course evaluation of textile material. In last classes, we have discussed the characteristics of fiber, ok, few characteristics like length, maturity, fineness. Today we are going to start the evolution of yarn characteristics. We will start with the most important characteristic which is linear density of yarn. Actually in textile yarn we would like to know the diameter of yarn or cross section same as in the fiber case we have seen that in fiber it is very difficult to measure the diameter of fiber. So, indirectly we measure the fineness in terms of linear density. So, in case of yarn also it is very difficult to measure the diameter or cross sectional area. This is mainly due to the fact that the thickness or diameter of a yarn is one of the most fundamental properties, but it is very difficult to measure because it is not possible to measure the diameter of yarn in any meaningful way because it is very difficult for say staple yarn as it is compressible in nature and the diameter also it is not uniform throughout the cross section throughout the length. So, it is very difficult to measure the diameter. The change in diameter is mainly due to twist applied on the yarn. If we consider the distribution of fibers in the cross sections are same, even the most uniform staple yarn will have variation in diameter. This is this picture will show that the diameter of yarn at different places are different due to inclined the helix angle of the fiber. So, this this is due to that that at different point also the tacking coefficient of yarn also changes and that results the variation in diameter. So, it is very difficult to measure the diameter of yarn particularly the staple yarn. That is why the indirect method of measuring the fineness is the linear density. So, a system of denoting the fineness of yarn by owing a known length of yarn it has been developed. So, so linear density is indirectly showing the fineness of yarn. So, this quantity is known as the linear density. It can be measured with a high degree of accuracy if the sufficient length of yarn is used. So, the linear density is extremely important for knowing the length of the yarn for a known quantity known actual known the mass of the yarn. So, this is used in many applications. Suppose if we know the linear for a known linear density of yarn if we have a cone of yarn we, uh, we can simply take the mass of the yarn ok. We can take the actual mass of the yarn and from there if we know the linear density we can calculate the actual length of the yarn. 
this is used in many applications like in warping. In warping if we know that if uh, that the count of yarn and the mass of the package. So, we can predict we can calculate actually the what will be the actual length of the warping warpers beam. So, in that way the in the total length is uh, it is needs to be calculated and also if in the other way if we know the length of the yarn we can calculate the mass of the yarn by knowing the linear density. So, there are two systems of linear density measure measurement the systems are one is uh, the direct system and next one is the indirect system of measurement. The in the direct system which is very convenient system that is the direct system of denoting the linear density is based on the measuring the mass of yarn per unit length. Okay. So, mass per unit length of yarn is the it is the direct system of measurement and here the length unit is fixed. So, if we know at a for a particular fixed length we calculate the mass. So, directly we can measure by measuring the mass we take the fixed length then we measure the mass that will directly give us the linear density in direct system. That means, if a particular x length of yarn one yarn gives the lower mass that means, that will have so that it will have the lower the direct system lower count. Okay. So, finer the yarn lower is the yarn number. So, takes uh, that in the direct system the whatever the number whatever, whatever the systems are there the lower value means the finer yarn and higher value it is a coarser yarn. So, there are different systems of measurement in direct systems these are the text system. Here unit of mass is in gram and the unit length is 1000 meter. So, 1000 meters say 1 kilometer. So, in 1 kilometer yarn we take the length of the yarn 1 kilometer and whatever mass is coming that will be directly termed as text. Suppose if we take 1 kilometer yarn and if it is its mass is 15 gram then that will be same it is a 15 text. Similarly, if we take 1 kilometer yarn if it is a thicker yarn then mass will be say more than 15 gram say mass is 30 gram. So, in that case the text will be 30. So, coarser yarn or thicker yarn will have higher text value. Similarly, the denier it is again the unit of mass is in gram, but the length is 9000 meter 9 kilometer. So, that means the 9 kilometer yarn if we take and if its mass is say 15 gram that means it will be 15 denier. So, earlier we have given example the 1 kilometer yarn we are taking its mass is say 15 gram. So, it is a 15 takes now we are taking say 9 kilometer yarn the mass remains same say 15 gram. So, it is a 15 denier. So, the denier is it is a for 15 denier yarn 15 denier yarn and 15 takes den takes yarn. So, 15 denier yarn is finer finer by 9 times. So, that is that way we can have different relationships I will discuss the relationships between different count system. Decitex is similar way it is a mass in gram of 10,000 meter 10 kilometer yarn. So, it is little bit finer than denier. So, that is why the these systems they are used for different types of material like tex system normally used for staple yarn okay, where the count the number is little bit coarser and denier or decitex normally we use for 
filamentian it may be multifilamentian or monofilamentian these are the conventions but we can use the other way also the text we can use for the, the filamentian also okay let's see one text is 10 decitexian so that's what we have uh, discussed because one text uh, in text system the length unit is 1 kilometer and in decitex length unit is say 10 kilometer that's why it's 1 is to 10 ratio the general formula for direct system is if we know the the length of the yarn and if you if we know the the mass in gram mass of the yarn for that particular length so we can calculate the text value or any value in direct system so n is the yarn this is the general formula n is the yarn the number the yarn number so or count system so n is the yarn number in direct system l the length of the sample that's if we take the sample it need not be always that uh, the as per the standard so in text system if we want to calculate text text system the standard length is 1 kilometer we need not always take 1 kilometer yarn we can take say few meter yarn or 100 meter yarn or like that so any yarn so that is the length of the sample and then what we do after taking that known length we take the mass so that the mass that is m capital m it denotes the mass of the sample at the official region in the unit system that means if it is in gram then we have to take mass in gram system so and it is it says that is official region so that region moisture region has to be perfect otherwise the the there will be difference in yarn number so as per the and that is why to get the official region we have to condition the material for say 24 hours but before we measure the count and that is why we, we have to allow the yarn to settle to actually to get that region okay. and small l is the unit length of the system. So, for text system the unit length is 1000 meter. So, l for text system small l for text system it will be 1000 meter. So, using this uh, this uh, parameters we can calculate the yarn number using the simple formula capital M multiplied by small l divided by capital L. Capital M is the mass of the material sample and capital L is the length of the sample. So, and let us take one example say mass we want to know the text value of yarn text of yarn and for a mass of 25 gram and length of the yarn is 2.5 kilometer so mass of 2500 meter yarn is 25 gram what is the text value so it's a very simple using the formula text system mass in gram of 1000 meter. So, using that formula the mass of the yarn m is 25 gram small l is 1000 meter and capital is our sample length is 2500 meter. So, using this simple formula we can calculate the text value of the yarn. So, we can also if we want to calculate the denier, the denier the main, main difference is that the small length in denier the small length it will be say 9000 meter. So, if we use in place of 1000 meter if we use 9000 meter then it will be 90 denier. So, that way we can calculate if we know the mass of yarn for a particular length so we can calculate the the yarn number now coming to the indirect system 
So, indirect system is little bit complex, it is not the direct. So, but this system is a traditional system. So, this is the traditional system of ER linear density measurement. So, early nowadays we also follow this uh, indirect system, but in I as per ISO this the text is the standard system of measurement. So, the indirect system is the, that the is the based upon the length per unit mass. So, in direct system mass per unit length if we measure the length then we can take directly the mass, but here the length per unit mass. So, ma mass is fixed and for that mass what is the length. So, here it is a little bit awkward it is looking because if we if we know the mass okay, we have to then calculate the we have to get the actual length of the yarn. Oh, that is why it is indirect system, but in traditionally it was used the indirect system is based upon the length per unit mass of the yarn and usually known as count. So, this count is a term it is a normally it is a people ask that why is it called count why the linear density we call as count. Okay. It is based on fixed mass system as it is a length per unit mass. So, mass is fixed. Now, let us take one example okay, for cotton yarn because the count term came from normally it is a cotton yarn. In earlier days during trading people that uh, the unit of mass was used as pound. Okay. Pound was the unit of mass and the length of yarn was actually 840 yards. It is a hank of yarn, it is a skein of yarn. So, what they used to do? They used to make one lee. Okay. So, that one lee is length is 120 yard, okay. 120 yard lee such 7 lees are there. So, 7 lees of 120 yard will be 840 yard. So, they make used to make one bundle of 840 yards, okay. they are making one bundle of 840 yards and this bundles they and there was a weighing balance, weighing balance they used to put the bundle that bundle one bundle they are putting okay, they are getting and there they keep on putting the bundle till the mass becomes one pound. So, they have to actually they have to make a bundle of one pound. Okay. Now, they are they are trying to put one the hank of 840 yard it is not 1 pound then 2 hanks 3 hanks, and they keep on counting they keep on counting 1 hank 2 hanks 3 hanks like that keep on counting and suppose it is a 30 count. So, after putting 30 such hank of 840 yard it has become 1 pound. So, the they are then they are packing as 1 pound bundle, 1 pound bundle of say th the, and that bundle there are 30 such hanks are there. That means, that will have 30 count. So, they counted the number 30. Now, suppose it is a finer yard, finer yard again they are putting hanks of 840 yards. If it is finer yard, then the number of such hank will be uh, they will count they will again keep on counting they will count the number and that will be more than say 30. So, suppose it is a 50 it is after counting they count it is a there are 50 such hanks are there. So, that hang there and then they are putting making bundle of 1 pound in that bundle there will be 50 such hanks. So, they have counted the number as 50. So, that 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 is how the term count came and this 50 count. So, here it is the system in the indirect system the higher the count number 
the finer will be the yarn. So, that is why so the in indirect system it is the system of counting. So, count term came from there and nowadays we normally use that it is a English count or any it is a count and people used to say that is a and text count. The count has become term for in linear density, but actually count initially was used for indirect system. The finer the yarn higher the count number and also it is no, people used to say yarn number. What is the yarn number? The same way the number came ok number how much how many such bundles are there how many such hangs are there in one pound ok. So, this English system this English count N E is also still used in particularly in cotton yarn system in it is in the it is also called cotton count ok. So, in indirect system there are other methods of indirect system measurement the or state count N W uh, here number of hangs of 560 yards in 560 yards in 1 pound. So, for or state system we do not make a hank of 840 yards here we used to make hank of 560 yards because the what or state yards are little bit bulky in nature. So, if we pay, if we actually make a hank of 8, uh, 840 yards then it will be little bit bulky heavy bulky and the voluminous that is why the it has the hang system here hank is 560 yards and that is why new counting system N W has been evolved. Cotton system as we have discussed 840 yards another system is metric count. Metric count where we use the this terms yard and pound in terms of kilometer and kilogram that is in metric system. So, number of kilometer length per kilogram here what we do we take the um, uh, yarn of say 1 kilometer each. So, such one how many 1 kilometer yarns will be there in 1 kilogram that will be the number. Now, we will see that there are, uh, we can convert we can actually transfer from one system to another system that we will discuss. The general formula for indirect system is again n is the yarn number or count for that system l is the length of the sample. Suppose, we have taken a certain length okay, for testing okay. that is the length of the yarn and the mass of that yarn. Suppose, it is a 120 yards we have taken only we have not taken that whole length we have taken only 120 yards or any year length and mass of the yarn of the at the official region in the unit of that system. So, in the same unit we have to take and L is the unit length of this system ok. That is the system and M is the unit mass of the system because in direct system we have not used the unit mass M because in most of the uh, systems we have seen it is a gram 1 gram per something ok number of gram. So, here it is a M is the unit of system and this is the general formula M this M unit ma, unit of mass of the system L is the actual length of the sample actual mass of the sample unit of length of the sample ok. Now, let us take one example here mass of 120 yards of yarn Li is 3 gram. So, we have taken mass of yarn we have taken a make a made a Li and then we have taken mass. So, it is a 3 gram what is the cotton count of the yarn. So, cotton count any is the number of hangs of 840 yards long in 1 pound that we have discussed. Now, cotton count is using this formula here m is the mass of the 
that system what is which one what is this it is one pound and in one pound and we are trying to convert into same unit of mass. So, here the mass is the mass of sample is in 3 grams. So, we can convert this one pound to gram. So, 453.6 that is the gram and 120 yard we are keeping the length of uh, yeah, it is one yard because it is the same unit as the count system. So, 120 yard and this the mass of the sample it is a capital M is the 3 and length unit is 840 yards. So, in that way we can calculate the count of yarn in English count. Okay. So, English count is 21.6. So, what happened here we, we can see here this mass M it is always constant 453.6 it is constant and this L length it is constant. If we take if we take the yarn in a sample, if we take the mass uh, length of the yard in in length of the yarn in yard unit okay, and mass of the yarn in gram unit, if we take that one, then we can simply eliminate this term, we can actually use a constant term that constant is 0 0.54 that is a 453.6 by 840. So, that means directly we can see use 0.54 multiplied by length in yard divided by mass in gram. So, in that case one care has to be taken we should always take the yarn in yard unit and length in gram because yard unit in wrap reel normally we get yarn length in yard unit also in mass unit that meter also it is available in that case we have to change this factor. Okay. If it is in mass unit so, mass so if it is in meter unit then we have to change this factor little bit. So, in that way directly we can measure the yarn count. Now, let us see the how to convert one count system to another count system. This we can we can calculate, but this table will give us direct count conversion system. Okay. Now, this table we can just see from text to text it is okay. directly it is a text value and if you want to take the text value. So, text to deci text, okay. text to deci text. So, suppose a yarn we have one yarn of say 10 text, 10 text yarn. So, what will be the deci text? So, 10 multiplied by 10 it will be 100 deci text. So, if we convert want to know the denier of the yarn that means, you have to multiply by 9. So, 90 denier of yarn. Suppose, we have the value deci text value. So, 100 deci text, 100 deci text what will be the text value? Text value will be say 100 by 10. So, 10 text value, 100 deci text what will be the denier? It will be 90 denier. Okay. Similarly, suppose we have say 18 denier yarn, 18 denier fiber. Okay. What will be the text? 18 by 9. So, that will be 2 text. So, in that way we can convert. Similarly, for metric count, metric count suppose we have 100 nm yarn, 100 metric count yarn. How, what will be the text value? So, it will be 1000 divided by 100. So, it will be take 10, 10 text and then it will be 100 deci text and it will be 90 denier. So, in that way we can simply convert and in if we want to convert the English count in to the English English count to the other count. Suppose if it is a 10 English count, then text will be 591 approximately divided by any 591 559.6 text. So, in this way we can we can uh, convert all the count systems. Now, this 
591. How this 591 came? It is a very simple calculation. We can calculate, we can just simply convert the mass and length units and we will get this value. Similarly, it is a conversion, another conversion system is that text a metric count, text to metric count. If we know the text, then you can cal calculate the metric count. Earlier, it was uh, text to other count. So, text deci text here the metric count and English count. So, we can convert from one count to another count. Okay. So, if we know the say English count, we can get the metric count. So, in this way we can calculate. Okay. Now, the use of this counting system is that as I have mentioned, we need to know precisely the actual length of material, actual length of yarn in a consignment. So, if the yarns are in the package, so length measurement is not that easy, we cannot unwind the yarn and measure. So, in that way the counting system helps. Suppose a polyester yarn, the polyester filament yarn in a package, the package mass is say 2 kg mass and its denier is known to be 180 denier. So, for my production say knitting or weaving or any other process for a particular requirement I need to know the what is the length available, how much length is available here. So, this is the say one example I have said 2 kg of 180 denier polyester filament. So, I need to know the length so that I can predict whether it will be well, uh, it will actually serve my purpose or not it is uh, it's, it will be sufficient or not. Okay. Now, denier is known here and mass of 9000 meter of polyester yarn is 180 gram that is if it is 180 denier that means 9000 meter of filament will have 180 gram and then simply we can calculate the length. So, the length of 2 kg yarn will be 9000 is the that is the 180 gram for 180 gram 9000. So, 9000 by 180 that is for 1 gram divided multiplied by say 1000 this 1000 it is for 1 kg yarn and so this much uh, kg yarn and for 2 kg it is multiplied by 2. So, this total quantity 9000 multiplied by 2 by 1000 by 180 uh, multiplied by 1000 by 180 this term comes out to be in meter. So, if you want uh, in terms of kilometer you again divided by 1000. So, that is how we can calculate the total length of yarn and if we lay if we know the length of yarn then we can actually plan our production. Okay. So, but our pro suppose our production line needs a yarn of say 150 kg. So, then in that case I can tell 2 kg yarn will not work. So, in that way we can 150 kilometer yarn my production line the product whatever say woven fabric or knitted fabric. So, depending on the I have calculated in that case suppose my requirement is 110 kilometer yarn. Okay. In that case, if I take 2 kg yarn, then it will not work. So, in that case, we I can precisely calculate how much weight, how much mass is the what is the quantity of yarn is required. Okay. So, that is the solution. And next is that another similar problem length of 20 text polyester cotton yarn in kilometer of 6 kg cone will be equal. So, I have a 6 kg cone, so I need to know what is the length. Okay. So, 20 takes is there, so mass of 1000 meter yarn is 20 gram. In the similar way, we can calculate. So, 1 gram yarn will have length of 50 meters, 
Okay. So, 6 kg yen will have 6 into 1000 into 50 that is a this much uh, 6 kg. So, so, this much meter yen and we can calculate the length it is a 300 kilometer yen. So, this way we can calculate the length of yarn from known mass or from the length if we know the length we can calculate the what will be the mass. So, this mass also this length uh, this system also helps in other way. Suppose, my production line needs a certain length of yarn and uh, we can calculate the how much quantity because we cannot order the yarn we cannot purchase yarn in terms of length. But our planning department suppose after calculation they say for warp we need this much length of yarn. From there if we know the yarn count then we can calculate the how much quantity of yarn required. So, this counting system helps in, in both the ways. Now, try to see how to calculate the count of folded yarn. So, folding and plying is very common practice in textile industry because in most of the cases we need the folded yarn okay. that is and we must know how to express the how to calculate the count of folded yarn. And if we know the because folded yarn count we can calc we can also measure by measuring the directly count system, but if we know the individual yarn count. So, in that case we can predict what will be the folded yarn count. So, the, the count of individual threads that is singles that have been plied together to form the final yarn is called folding count. So, that means, if we if we twist if we fold a number of single yarn and then if we measure the count of plied yarn then that will be called as folding count. If there is only one in the ply then the yarn itself is often referred as singles of yarn. So, that means single count another is folding count. However, depending on the count system being applied. So, whether it is a direct system or indirect system or if it is that is uh, that direct system or index system we can calculate the resultant count, but different counting system like uh, cotton counting system, worsted counting system or span seal counting system the folding number how they appear it gets changed. The folding num number appear differently in the yarn count system and here we should be very careful in which counting system it is being expressed like using any of the cotton woolen or worsted system. So, if we use the cotton system woolen system or worsted system the two fold 30 count 30 any cotton yarn we can write as 230. Okay. So, 230 means it is a single yarn count is 30 and it is applied in two times okay. two uh, threads are there. Similarly, so 320s means 20 single count yarn is twisted uh, with the 3 ply okay. 3 plies of yarn 3 fold of yarns are there. Where first digit signifies the folding number. So, 2 thirties means the 2 is the number which is the folding number and second digit is the count of each system. Now, the problem here is that this system it says that all the individual yarn count should be exactly same. Here the same yarn is twisted. 
if we twist say so 30 is count and 40 is count in that case we cannot express in this way 230s so this uh, the if it is in cotton system cotton system of expression 230s means 230 count yarn is being twisted so you will have certain resultant count but this problem is actually eliminated in another way which is known as span silk system just to actually avoid any confusion so span silk system here there are two fold of 30s cotton count yarn would be written as 215 215 because the officially the count of span silk is the total yarn count okay that is this is the total yarn count 15 count okay that means two fold of cotton yarn so if we will see in the next uh, section the if we twist two 30s count yarn the resultant will be 30 any yarn the resultant count will be 15 so here in this system first digit shows the number of ply and the second digit shows the resultant count so this counting system its span silk system we can use in various actually wide applications are there where a number of yarns of different count or different nature can be is twisted and we can express okay that we will discuss with the folding number placed in front and the total digit that resultant count in after that okay here folding number is 2 the direct system is almost always simpler so it's a very simple and generally is to be preferred now, now in si system it's a takes is regard as the the linear density expression of linear density in of yarn okay it's a takes we don't normally use we don't use uh, any or any other method in the si system so if we have yarn linear density in english system any or any metric system in si we have to always convert it to in terms of text that is the si system internationally accepted system okay now try to see the count of folded yarn it's a say resultant count in the indirect system resultant count is nr so nr means it's a length of yarn for a particular mass okay that's the indirect system nr so suppose in the component yarns the there are n number of components n1 n2 n3 n4 are the count of individual components okay so these are the individual components first component n1 second component n2 in this way now we want to know what will be the if we actually fold together all these yarns or ply it together and if we twist together we would like to know the resultant count resultant any of the yarn english system or indirect any indirect system of the yarn here the assumption is that during twisting or folding there is no change in actual length of the yarn that assumption is there but if at all the contraction is known then we can actually calculate the actual count by actual uh, correcting the factor by using correction factor so the resultant count is the reciprocal of the addition of the reciprocal of the count so 1 by nr equal to 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 plus 1 by n3 plus 1 by so in this way directly simply we can use we can actually derive this formula also but direct simply it's a simple derivation we can use this formula of count of folded yarn in direct system it's a simple one because it's a mass per unit length now if we fold say two yarns the length is fixed 
mass will be simply added. So, that means in direct system the count of folded yarn is simple addition of the individual count. So, n r d okay, that is the resultant count in direct system so, individual component 1 d 2 d n 2 d n 3 d like this. Okay. So, this is the simple addition. Okay. Suppose, one yarn of certain length has got say mass of x, another yarn of same length has got mass of y, then the resultant yarn of same length will have mass of x plus y. In the same way, it is simply added. Okay. Now, let us try to solve few problems, okay. some problem, what is the text count? of 350s any of 3 ply yarn okay 350s any yarn so that's the folded yarns count we want to measure so this is the english system of expression that means the individual yarn count is 50 and it's plied 3 times okay 3 ply so, resultant count in English system we first we have to calculate. So, that individual yarn count is three, uh, 50. So, resultant yarn count using the earlier formula of folded yarn 1 by n 1 plus 1 by n 2 plus 1 by n 3. So, this is the equal to 1 by n e r resultant count okay, of in English system and the resultant count will be 50 divided by 3 that is 16.66 and using the earlier table we can get the resultant count in tech system here it is asked the count to be in tech system. So, we know the n t multiplied by n e r equal to 590.1 approximately it is 1 4. So, in that case n e is known, n e r is known. So, we can calculate n t. So, 590.4 divided by 16.6 is it is coming out to be 35.42 n t. So, for 350s yarn the English count yarn is the text value is 35.42. Okay. So, in that way we can always convert this is the answer. Now, see next problem it is a that means, a, what is the count of a multifilament yarn in text with 36 filaments in that multifilament monofilaments of 3 denier monofilaments. Okay. So, th three so, each monofilament has got 3 denier such 36 monofilament monofilaments are there to form that multifilament. Okay. So, that so here the count system linear density system is in direct system and such 36 filaments are there that means, the it will be 3 denier will be added 36 times. So, 30 such 30, so it will the resultant denier of the multifilament is n d r. Okay. This is a count number in denier of resultant year. So, n d r is equal to n 1 plus n 2 plus n 3 up to n 36 and all the counts are same 30 by 3 counts. So, it is multiplied by 36 means 108 denier is the denier of the multifilament and we can simply convert this denier to text by dividing with 9. So, it is coming out to be 12 text. Okay. So, this yarn it is converted to 12 text. Although this is these are very simple, but the implications applications are wide. So, we can always 
convert this term because people would like to know in terms of text just for comparison. We may get the yarns or filaments in different, but different uh, count system, but people always would like to know in standard system just for comparison. Okay. This is the 12 count. Another system is that this is this problem, this is the very practical problem and which we actually face in day to day industry okay, application. So, it is not that in multi folded yarn the idea is not always the to get a thicker yarn or to get uh, some even yarn okay, or a stronger yarn. Sometime we try to ply the to get a certain blend proportion or certain special characteristics. We sometimes ply the filament with the staple yarn, okay. polyester with wool, polyester filament with cotton filament, cotton cotton staple yarn like that. So, uh, cotton yarn with polyester filament or nylon this type of combinations are required in many applications, particularly in technical applications. So, we must know how to calculate the resultant count. So, what is the resultant count of 3 ply yarn in text okay, twisted with 50 nm worsted yarn, one component is worsted yarn of 50 nm. Next component is 100 denier polyester filament okay, and then 60 any cotton yarn. So, that is the combination this three polyester, cotton, wool or wool blend whatever. You mean. So, this is the combination. Now, we would like to know what is the resultant count in text. So, here the resultant count in text is n t r. Okay. First, here we have to first step is that we have to convert individual count different count to a particular single count system. Here what we have done? We have done to a count system which is required text system it is not always necessary to convert into the required system, we can convert into any other system and finally, we can convert. The resultant text count is NTR. So, for wool the count was it is it was 50 nm. From the earlier table conversion table, we have seen the text is text and n m conversion was 1000. So, 1000 by 50 it has become 20, 20 takes is wool yarn. Similarly, for polyester filament it has actually it is a given in denier term. So, the denier was 100 denier, 100 denier polyester. So, the in takes the polyester filament takes all 100 by 9. So, it has become 11.11 11 11 11.11. Okay. So, that is the takes of polyester filament. Now, a third component is that the cotton it is a 60 any cotton yarn. Now, in third component again we have converted the third component in text system. So, 590.1 divided by 60 it has become 9.83. Now, we have got 3 different yarns of same count. Okay. First, we have to convert it to in the same count, then we are trying to ply, apply the formula of plying and here again assumption is that there is no contraction. Okay. So, then we are applying the formula of folding. So, the folding formula for direct system as we have converted into direct system. So, it is 
it is always good idea to convert to any of the direct systems. So, that is that will help us in just simply adding. So, 20 text plus 11.11 text by plus 9.83 text. So, if we add together it is coming out to be 40.94 text. So, that is the required count. Okay. So, this, this type of problem is always we face in the industry. So, we can simply calculate okay. this is the answer. Now, in the next segment we will start the measurement of Ian linear density till then bye. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.